Hey, what's going on guys? Buffalo Gamer 77 here. And in today's video, I'm just gonna talk about my recent game pickups. Uh, they're from probably from March on, up until about a few days ago, beginning of June. Uh, they're not really any type of order at all. There's three games that are in, are in order, but uh, the first maybe seven or eight games are not in, in any order at all. And I picked up about 15 games over various systems, from NES to SNES to PS2 to Sega Genesis and TurboGrafx-16 actually. So let's get started. Uh, the first game I picked up here was $5 and I saw a video on it pretty recently and I went out looking for it actually and I picked it up. And this game is Fax Anadu. It's one of those games where you can go back and forth. So if you have to go backwards to get to, you know, to get a key or to get more money to buy things, you could do that in this game. And this, this game definitely I want to put aside and play more of it. Uh, again, I only played about 15 minutes in this game. Most of these games I only played for about 15 minutes of it, except for certain ones where you know they, you know, that were uh, games I really wanted to play more of. So those ones I played for a few hours. But this one I played about 15 minutes of it just to talk about it in the video. Uh, next one is one of the games I actually played a few hours of it and got pretty far into it. Didn't finish it yet. Uh, this game, uh, I first heard about it by watching an Alpha Mega Sin video that he did with uh, Grimsy42. And Grimsy picked up this this, uh, this game and he was talking about it and I wanted to check more out on this game. So I actually looked a video up on it on gameplay footage and I wanted, it, wanted to pick it up. It's about four or five months ago so I've been trying to find it since then and this is a Conquest of the Crystal Palace. My friend Jim the Retro Gamer actually picked it up for me and I paid him back for it. But uh, Conquest of the Crystal Palace is really a really good game. I'd say it became one of my favorites on NES for sure. And this is a game that I definitely would have put it aside and played more of it. I played until about the fourth level, I'd say. Uh, so if you haven't heard of Conquest of the Crystal Palace, definitely check out a video on it. Next one came recommended by the game store employee that I go to. And he said he played it as a kid and he, he enjoyed it. The game was five dollars. Uh, when I played it, I wasn't really that uh, that impressed with it at all. Uh, this kid, kid Nicky, Radical Ninja for NES here. Uh, it's a platformer game, you know, basic, nothing, nothing great, nothing, nothing horrible. When I play it again, maybe, maybe I'll give it a second chance, maybe, but uh, nothing great. Next one is actually a pretty good game. I played it, you know, just a few minutes of it, maybe 15, 20 minutes or so. It's sort of like a Zelda type game. And I've been trying to find this game for maybe for about six months to eight months or so. And finally found it pretty recently, about a week ago. And this game is uh, Crystallis for NES. Now this game is, is pretty fun. I'm gonna actually play it more and explore more of it. Uh, so it's definitely like a Zelda game for sure. Uh, so if you like Zelda, you'll definitely like Crystallis. Next game was kind of a disappointment for me. Uh, I'm, not I'm not sure why I bought it. I think I saw a video on it and it looked cool in the video, but when I actually played it, I was kind of disappointed. Uh, this game was Heavy Barrel for NES. The game was $5, so not that big a deal. But uh, if you've played Heavy Barrel and you like it, enjoyed it, uh, please comment below and tell me maybe I'm missing something. Maybe it gets better later on in the stages. I'm not sure, but I was kind of disappointed in this game. Next one is a uh, one of the old Western games, old Western games for NES, and this game is made by Capcom. It's Gunsmoke. Uh, this game is pretty cool. You're like an old Western cowboy character, and you're in the old West, obviously. And uh, at the end of each level, you want to kill the guy in the one in poster. You get money for it. You can upgrade your weapons. There's a shotgun, a magnum, and a machine gun, and and then, then the normal gun. You also have a horse. So you could uh, you could ride and the horse absorbs bullets, so it helps you improve your health a little bit. Uh, game's definitely fun, I like it. Graphic-wise, disappointing a little bit, for sure. Music-wise is okay, not, not great, but uh, gameplay is fun. It's not like Lone Ranger, I actually like Lone Ranger better than this game, but uh, pick, check, check it out if you want to check it out. This game came recommended to me by a friend of mine, uh, Mike. And he said this is his favorite game on NES. So next day I went to my game store and actually had it. And I actually never heard of this game before, I never saw it before. But the next day I went to my game store and uh, they get new video games on certain days of the week. And the day I went there, it was the day they got new games and this is one of the games they got. 
I had a gift card, so I didn't, I didn't pay anything for it. I used my gift card and got it for free. Uh, this is Clash at Demon Head. Now, at first, me and my friend Asus were playing it, and we're kind of disappointed in the gameplay. You know, there's uh, you know, there's not a lot of teaching you. You know, like the game nowadays, they teach you how to play the game. This game, they just turn it on, and it's up to you to figure it out. Uh, so at first, we were kind of disappointed, and you know, didn't really want to play more more of it at all. But we, we played it on, and maybe about 15 minutes later, we started to enjoy the game, and definitely you can see this game being a hidden gem on the NES. I'm not sure if a lot of people heard about this game or not, but uh, if you haven't heard about it yet, check a video on it and pick it up. This game is pretty well known. Uh, it's well known for being hard on the NES. It's uh, Ninja Gaiden. Ninja Gaiden is definitely one of the, one of the challenging, hardest games on the NES. Uh, back in, when I was a child, me and my cousin played this game and I don't think we ever finished it at all. But we definitely tried. You know, Back then, all you had to have is free time, so... We played this game a lot, but did not get that too, you know, did not, didn't get too far really. So, Ninja Gaiden. Next one came recommended by my friend Jesus, and it was five dollars, not that big a deal. He sort of described it to me as a, uh, like a Mega Man game with a Russian character. Uh, this game's called Karnov. Now, it's okay, you know, music, music wise, not that good. Graphic wise, it's okay. Definitely not like Mega Man, but, well, game play is like Mega Man, but graphic wise and music wise, not like not like Mega Man at all. It's uh, made by Daddy East, who makes Double Dragon. Uh, so I figured I'd give it a chance. It's, it's worth it's worth five dollars. I'd say it's worth five dollars. Um, but you know, if you haven't heard of this game yet, check a video on it. Maybe you'll like it more than I did. All right, next three games here. I picked up in Erie, Pennsylvania, at a game store down there. And it's a game I rented as a kid. And it's sort of like a Streets of Rage game, but you're on rollerblades. This game is called Roller Games, and it's fun. The only part of the game that's hard is trying to judge where you're jumping to. You know, there's points where you actually go in the, go in the air and you have to pass a uh, barrier. And I always fell down in the middle there and died and had to do it all over again. So other than that, the game is fun. You could definitely check it out. Uh, this is a game that definitely will play more. I don't think it's that long of a game. You probably beat it in a half hour, 45 minutes probably. But it's fun though. Next game is a game for TurboGrafx-16, which is a console I don't own yet, but I plan on getting, getting it shortly. Going to too many games in uh, Oaks, Pennsylvania, and a few weeks actually, so I'm hoping to maybe pick one up there. You know, TurboGrafx-16 consoles are pretty hard, to, not hard to find, but uh, they're not there, you know, out there that often. So hopefully I'll, I'll go there, I'll find one there at a good price, at least. And this game came complete. Let's see here. It's called Ninja Spirit. Uh, this game, let me open up here. Now, if you're not unaware of how TurboGrafx-16 games work, they're on these hue cards. I'll show you what a hue card looks like in a second here. So this is a hue card. And basically you pop it into your TurboGrafx console and play it. This game's like a shinobi type game. Like you're, you're a ninja and you know, you're know trying to, you know, um, kill your enemies basically. <laughs> and uh, the game is, you know, the games for TurboGrafx 16 are pretty expensive. This one, I got a good price on it, so I figured I'd pick it up. Why not? Uh, add it to the collection until I get my TurboGrafx 16 console to play it on. I'm um, gonna get some games for it if I can find them at a good price. So this one I picked up for, for a good price, so I figured I'd check it out. So if you haven't heard of this game, check out a video on it and uh, pick it up if you can. Next one is made by Neo, well, it's for PS2, but it's a Neo Geo Battle Coliseum. Now, back in the day, Neo Geo was famous for their arcade machines and the King of Fighters, uh, Samurai Showdown, and those type of games. And uh, when I saw this game, it was $5. I was like, definitely gotta pick it up. I believe the, the Neo Geo game for the Wii is like $40 to $30, so it's pretty expensive. Uh, so, it's missing the manual, but $5, can't complain. All right, the next three games here are for Sega Genesis. Now, the first game was $2. I saw a video on it, and it's a shooter game for Sega Genesis. It's called Subterranea. Uh, this game is pretty hard to steer your ship, so uh, I didn't give it that much time on it. Maybe about five, ten minutes, probably. So 
Would I play it again? Maybe. I probably would play it again, but eh, not anytime soon at least. Now next game I'm pretty excited to get actually. I was trying to find it for about maybe a year or so at a good price. I saw it before others in game stores and conventions, but price-wise was too high for me to pay for it. And I was on eBay one day and a guy had it for $40 or buy it now. I uh, offered him or her or whatever uh, $28 for it and they countered with $32, uh, so I accepted it. And this is uh, Gunstar Heroes for Sega Genesis. Now Gunstar Heroes also uh, for the Game Boy Advance as well. But this game right here is sort of like a Contra type game. That's what, you know, that's what it reminds me of. The game's really fun. It definitely has really good graphics in it. Sound-wise, sound music-wise, good. Definitely one of the better games on Sega, if not one of the best games on Sega. Next game I actually purchased from a friend of mine, uh, Jim the Retro Gamer. I paid $5 for it. He gave me a good price for it. And the game is Quackshot. At first I was kind of like, ah, I'm not really into this game at all, but later on playing it more, playing it more, I got used to it, and it's pretty fun actually. For five dollars, hey, I picked it up. And the last game I picked up here is a game that I was not really trying to, trying to, trying to find, but if I found it for a good price, I'd, I'd pick it up. And this game is uh, Donkey Kong Country. Uh, price tag here says twenty, but I didn't, I didn't pay twenty for it. I went to this one store, and they have like a like a yard sale type type store, where people have their own different different uh, cases and stuff like that. You know, they put like game you know games in there or coins, or whatever they want in there. And a guy had Donkey Kong Country. He had Mega Man 3. Often 40 for it. He wanted 50. He declined my offer. Uh, but the guy that was was uh, trying to trying to trying to help me out with get the price here, he had his game in his booth or his uh, case. He said he'll sell it to me for 15 dollars uh, plus tax. Uh, so I picked it up from him for $16 and some change. My, my local game store now sells this game for $34.99 plus tax, so almost $40. Uh, so I got a pretty, pretty good deal on it. Well, those are my pickups for well, that's March, April, May, and part of June. Uh, thanks for watching my video. Please comment below and tell me which game you think is the best or the worst. And I know there are some games in here where I won't play again, probably and some games that I am going to play again. Uh, so tell me what your feedback is. I appreciate it again, everyone supporting my channel. Again, thanks for watching. You guys have a good night.